What's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Um, this video, it's going to be, as you guys see, my thumbnail is my tips and advice on how you can start your own YouTube channel and the equipment that I use and raising your YouTube channel from the ground up without spending so much money, without breaking the bank, without going over budget and pretty much answering your questions. You guys have some questions and you guys emailed me, you guys have reached out to me wanting to find out how I started my YouTube channel. For me, I have to say I feel truly blessed that um, you guys want to know how I started my YouTube channel. I don't consider myself this uh, beauty guru or like a beauty expertise or ha like super successful on YouTube. You, We have other people who are like way out there. But um, I do have an amount of people in my YouTube family that requested this video. So that's the reason why I'm doing it. I really wanted to share with you guys my advice, my tip, my tricks, and how I started my YouTube channel. I really wanted to share with you guys and be able to help you guys. Uh, honestly, this video is not going to stay just here on this video. You can always, always reach out to me and I will, I will open up the discussion at the bottom. So if you have any questions that I did not cover in this video, I want you to go ahead and shoot it down below and I would love, to, I would gladly, gladly answer the questions. So this is going to be a three, a three part series video. This one is going to be my tips, tricks, advice and what equipment I use on be able to get you on the right track of having your own YouTube channel. The second one is going to be um, uh, how to edit your videos, how to do thumbnails and how to pretty much get traffic into your uh, channel. And the third one is going to be how do I get paid, how much do I get paid, how do I pitch campaigns to company? how do I get to work with companies. Um, first off, I'm going to put the disclaimer out there. I don't consider myself this huge YouTube success like I said in the beginning. But I do want to share with you guys what has worked for me. Because I've been able to see that with little time and little subscribers you would say. And little um, views or whatever. I have managed to get projects and things that I never in a million years imagined. So it's not most about the numbers. It's not most about this. It's about actually what has worked for me which I'm going to tell you in a minute. So let's get started into part one of this series and if you have a pen and paper go ahead and bring it out so you can write down my tips and my advice for you guys. Again thank you guys for requesting this video and I do it from the bottom of my heart because I want to help you achieve your dreams as well. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to tell you is ask yourself why are you doing it. I started it because, like I said, it's my passion, I was shy, I wanted to break out of my shell and I wanted to do something for myself, like I wanted to do something where I enjoyed it. So I started doing YouTube pretty much, uh, I think it was three years ago, I would say, three years ago um, and I have been loving every single moment of it. It's been a rocky road, it's like an upside, up, up and down road. So I decided to start my YouTube channel, I said, you know what, how hard could it be, let's do it. So I went out and got myself a couple of equipments which I will touch base with you a little bit further on this this video, which equipment you guys will be needing to start your YouTube channel. So that's the first thing I'm going to tell you. Why are you doing it if it's your passion? Don't do it because you want to do the want to get the free stuff. Because I'm going to tell you something. YouTube nowadays has become so saturated. Everybody is doing. Everybody and their mothers is doing YouTube. Everybody wants to get uh, do YouTube. Some people want it because they like it, they want to, this their passion, share with the world. Other people do it because they want the free stuff. I'm going to tell you and tell you from the beginning, if you are wanting to do it for the free stuff, you are definitely, definitely going to, what's that word, um, get frustrated because this doesn't come overnight. Things like people get here on YouTube, it takes time for you to build your brand, build your name and companies wanting to work with you. From I have worked with companies that I never in a million years I would imagine working with and projects I've worked on and I'm working on that I've never would a million years think and I thought, oh my god, I need to have 500,000 subscribers in order to do it. No. Reason why is because companies look for someone who is genuine and someone who has a personality to catch on to people. That's number two. Be yourself. Show yourself in the camera. Be who you are. Don't try to be anybody else. This has worked for me. I have a lot of people tell me, hey, I love your personality. I love this. I love that. That's going to help you stand out. Be yourself. Why be a copy? Everybody else is taken. Be yourself. That's how I can express it to you. Be yourself. I cannot stress that enough. I have companies who have reached out to me and 
what they write on it is I love your personality and I thank God for that because honestly never in a million years I will thought anybody would say to me I love your personality YouTube has helped me with my self-esteem you have no idea you would think I have my self-esteem the Rockefeller Center or even the Empire State Building in New York well I don't when I started my YouTube channel my self-esteem was as low as a self-esteem can get this has helped me build my self-esteem don't explain me why but it has helped I don't say like I'm all the way up here, but it has made me comfortable in my own skin and who I am. So companies telling me and people tell me I love your personality, this and that actually has helped me stand out from the crowd. So be yourself and that's definitely going to help you stand out. Bring to YouTube what you have because what you have is completely unique. To be honest, nobody has your personality, so be you. Be who you are and forget about what people tell you. Oh, your voice is annoying. Oh, you say so, 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 so much. Or this, this, and that. Screw what they say. Be ready for a lot of hate, a lot of shade, and a lot of negativity on YouTube. Yes. You only see on Instagram the cutest of the pictures and, and the goodies that Tarts and Benefit and L'Oreal send you and this, this, and that. And you see blogs of I'm tripping with Tarts or I'm going to Vegas or this, this, and that. But you don't see what's behind it. You don't see what we deal with it every single day, which is hateful comments. And of course, friends shading you because of what you do. Or this one better. Hey, what do you do? I do videos on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> so, honestly, be ready for that. Create thick skin. Why hasn't it broke me? Because I love what I do. Do it with passion and believe me. Sky's the limit for you. Number three, be very, very consistent. Oh my God, I cannot stress that enough. When I was researching um, how to start a YouTube channel, these things were pretty much the key to everybody who has been successful on YouTube. That's what they tell you. Be yourself. Just be yourself. <laughs> it's funny though, because you look at them and you're like, you're not even being yourself. What is wrong with you? And the other thing they tell you is be very consistent. Yes. Don't upload one video on the beginning of the month and then the other one half of the half of the month of the following month. Do you feel me? Let's do this a little bit more easier. Do not upload a video the 1st of February and then March 15th you upload a second video. No. Be very consistent. Know that YouTube is going to take a lot of your time. So, if you want it as a hobby, that's what you're going to get it as. You're going to get it as a hobby. First off, that's how I started it. I started as a hobby. Now I now it's my career. I turned it into my career. I put work and time and effort into my videos. Mind you, I have an Etsy shop that I have orders coming in and out from my shop every single day. I have a house, a husband, and two kids. Yes, my hands are full. That's why I'm kind of spacing out the videos, but... You will see always the videos on my channel every week. Try to make a schedule that works for you. You can, If you don't have kids and you don't have nothing to do, then try to upload at least three times a week. Consistent. Bring out content that people want to see. Haul, makeup tutorials, challenges, tags. There's so many. And if you can come up with your own, even better. Bring what you want to bring into your channel. It's your channel. Just make it yours. Make it fun. And definitely enjoy your time. I have my agenda. Agenda has worked for me. Organize yourself. Put the videos you want to record, what days you want to record them, what days you're going to edit, and what days you're going to upload them. Definitely has helped me up organize myself with my YouTube channel. So that's the pretty much the advice I wanted to give you. Just a quick rundown. First, why are you doing it? Two, be yourself. Three, be very, very consistent. That is exactly what I can tell you when it comes to starting your YouTube channel. That's the advice I'm going to give you because that's what I learned and that's what I've gone through. Um, okay, so let's get down to business and let's talk about equipment. What equipments are you going to be needing? What equipments are like your must-have? What are some equipment that you can put up to the side? So first off, of course, you're going to need yourself a camera. I have a DSLR camera what it, and that camera is the Canon T3i Rebel. And I love my camera, which is this one right here. It has a viewfinder. I highly recommend you getting a DSLR camera with a viewfinder. Why you why? The viewfinder you turn it around and it lets you see if you are recording or has stopped recording. So make sure you get a DSLR camera. Um, you can get any DSLR camera. They come Canon, Nikon, um, Sony's, Fujifilm. There's so many. You can go to Best Buy and you can look at the variety of DSLR cameras that they have. I bought myself in a bundle 
It came with a little, it came with an extra lens, it came with a book bag, it came with a, uh, an SD card. So there's other cameras. This was the cheapest one that I found, to be honest. I think the bundle was anywhere from $4.99 to $5.30, I think it was. Somewhere around the, that edge. I got that bundle at Best Buy. So look out at Best Buy for your camera bundles because you get an SD card. You're going to need an SD card. SD cards are your best friend. The higher the gigabyte on the SD card, the better because it's going to help you store more videos into the SD card. Also, there's other cameras which these ones are already, if you are looking to invest a little bit more and get a little bit more for what you paid for. The other camera I highly recommend is the Canon 70D which has autofocus. What is autofocus? Something that my camera doesn't have. But I still love my camera. Alright, it's been with me since day one. This camera, the autofocus, what it does is if you are doing a makeup tutorial and you want to show the product, it's, def it's going to focus on the product and then when you, when you take it away, it's going to focus back on you. This is the perfect camera for this type of business because that's what you're doing. Now, you don't need it right off the bat. Let's talk about lighting. I have softbox lighting, which are these ones right here. This is the exact softbox lighting that I got off of Amazon. I'm going to leave all this information down below and where I got all my equipment from. Down below, just click purchase and let's get this show on the road. So these are the softbox lighting. These lightings are going to help your video look alive and light and you're not going to see yourself so dark. <laughs> So these ones I got them I think six months down the road when I had I started my YouTube channel because I kept googling and the lights were insanely expensive 400 600 300 and I'm like whoa I kept doing googling googling I found these ones right here for hundred and nineteen dollars in some change plus shipping and handling I was like ah and they come all three with the little stand and the little carrying case so just in case you're moving you get to the they come with all the bulbs as well each freaking sub light box has four of those humongous light bulbs inside and it's like blinding you. <laughs> so, sub box lightings are going to help you of course look a lot better and it's going to help the um, video look a lot brighter. Daytime is your best, best lighting. Been there, done that. That was my lighting when I first started YouTube. I opened up the windows, put the camera in front and let's get started. The next lighting that I have, this one I think I bought it maybe about a year ago yeah maybe about a year ago I bought this one which is just the Ring Diva Light is this one right here the Ring Diva, the actual Diva Light it runs anywhere from 200 to I think 200 to 300 dollars if I'm not mistaken so my Diva Ring Light was around roughly around 90 bucks and the Diva Ring Light what it does it gives it, a, it makes it a little brighter do you need it at the moment when you start your YouTube channel no you don't need it you don't have to have it I recommend just the softbox lighting or if not the natural date light will be work fine but if you want to keep stepping up then then after the soft, after you get the soft lights I highly recommend you getting the ring light some people don't have softbox they just have the ring light the next thing you're gonna need are your tripods um, I bought the tripod that the ring light is standing on which are these things right here these tripods um, this one I think it was like $25 at Amazon and then the one my camera has I got it for like $25 as well when I went to Best Buy and got my camera Tripods are not that expensive to be honest, but you want to get a sturdy one that's going to hold your camera You don't want a fancy one that's going to fall Most of the things that um, you see on YouTube like the backdrops that people are using and the lighting and this is and that You will definitely find them at Amazon.com for so cheap and they definitely definitely work What else? The last, the last thing I think um, people concern about is the backdrop. What am I going to use as my background? Use whatever you want. Make sure it doesn't look messy. Make sure it looks presentable. You don't want to have your, you don't want to have your camera facing the back of your closet, and your closet has like clothes laying on the floor. Because honestly, that doesn't look professional. Even though this is not, you're not working at a company, a well-known company. You're, it's, you're still portraying your brand, you're still portraying yourself and you want to come off as someone that knows what they're doing and it's definitely professional. So pretty much your background, it, you know, it's just pretty much making it look crisp, nice. This is just pretty much a table where I do my makeup and my window. That is all, to be honest. Nowadays people are using backdrops, fabrics, like these glittery pink ones. 
that you can't get anywhere and they just hang it on the back and they just whatever 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 that's just a little bit more complicated to be honest i just think that as long as you have like a if you love makeup and you're thinking of starting a youtube channel i i i'm pretty sure that you have a vanity with like a whole bunch of makeup behind you that's it that can start be that could be your setup until you eventually evolve in youtube and you can start making money and then you can start investing on your brand on your career which is what you're doing which is youtube so i hope you found this video helpful i hope that i can give you a push into starting it just do it if it's your passion if it's really really in you you like it go for it go for it and if you have any questions any concern anything just shoot it down below i'd be more than happy to help you i will be more than delighted to be part of your youtube journey to be able to say hey francis i started a youtube channel because you gave me the push that for me will definitely mean the world that is exactly the reason why i created this video because i got so much shade and i got so much hate when i started my youtube channel that honestly being able to sit in front of the camera and being able to, to say, let's say I'm helping somebody achieve their goals and their dreams definitely makes my day. Honestly, I'm just going to close out with this motto, with this quote that I love and I read and I swear by. Girls competing with each other, women empower each other. So let's see if women can take over the YouTube community. Let's be the girls who take over the world. Like Beyonce say. this video helpful go ahead and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there because we're reaching 20,000 beautiful chicas on my channel and we're gonna celebrate <laughs> so be on the lookout for part two and part three of this video again any questions concerns anything leave it down below any hate comment shade will definitely be blocked i don't need that in my life thank you so much for sticking till the end be blessed precious pearls and i will see you ladies on my next video bye